doing a little bit of an experiment today. I'm shooting the H&N Barracuda, the 21.14 grain at 930 feet per second. Now usually pellets destabilize in that kind of speed, but the wind luckily today is not very strong. It's usually the wind that destabilizes them. So I think they should be okay. Um, I know it's a little bit fast for a pellet, but I want to find things out. So testing is the best medicine. The strategy today is pretty simple. We're going to concentrate around this little tree that seems to be a sparrow hotspot. Any sparrow sitting on the surrounding fences will also be targeted. So with all that out of the way, let's get the show started. Uh, 62 meters. The slight breeze from right to left, but yeah, he went straight on. This shot was straight into the sun and we decided to move to the other side until the sun gets a bit higher. Okay, that's going better. We are using the FX Impact X Mark II in its compact version today. This is the same impact that was a 67 foot pound slug slinger just a few weeks ago. All I did was swap the 700mm barrel for a 500mm barrel and the 580cc bottle for a 300cc bottle. I then dropped the regulator to 130 bar, closed the valve down to just under two lines and left the hammer spring on max. The Donny FL Ronin was also swapped for a Donny FL Tatsu. And just like that it feels like a brand new gun shooting the H&M 21.14 grain pellet at 930 feet per second. Yes! That one was ready to jump and fly away. <laughs> Not as powerful as the slugs, but highly effective. The FX Impact is still the undisputed champion when it comes to versatility. That's too easy. Yes, so that one took a little branch off. As you can see there's so many sparrows on this farm and that's why they are a problem. We don't eat them because they're just too small um, but there's enough uh, birds of prey around to feast on them so we just leave them where they are and yeah, you can really see them circling around and they know when we are the, here and there's free food around so then they come out. Now a lot of you have asked how I go about zeroing my scope. Well it's actually pretty simple. I set up my scope tape at home and if you don't know how to do that I did a tutorial video that will be linked down below. When I get to the farm I set out a target at 20 meters because that is my preferred zero distance. I then proceed to line up the crosses to the point of impact at 20 meters. All I need to do then is reset the tool free turrets on the element scope the elevation I put on the 20 meter mark on my scope tape and the windage one I just simply set to zero. Then all that is left is fasten the turret caps and off you go. <laughs> Got that one down 57 meters. Another one at 62, awesome. The wind came up and as predicted it came up pretty strongly now, but let's continue. <laughs> Another one, 62 meters. <laughs> they are going down. I'm pretty impressed so far with the Barracudas, running at 930 feet per second. As I said, it's pretty fast for a pellet, but I'm not seeing any stability issues, especially now with the wind um, gusting and blowing so strongly. Um, they're all still traveling pretty straight and true, so yeah, so far so good. <laughs> Down it goes, 40 meters. Oh. 
At this stage the wind really started picking up and it was time to give the gun back to Maggie before it gets too strong. She is still learning to shoot in the wind and I did not want her to struggle too much. Lekker! Okay, that one was like, whoa! For those of you that don't know, lacquer means nice in Afrikaans, our home language. Whoa, I think that was a headshot. This was actually a neck shot and you can tell by the flaring wings because the nervous system was completely disconnected from the brain. By now the wind was even stronger and it was time for me to get behind the gun and see if I can pick up any instability. Got him. So that's 62 meters as well. So if you compare that to the shots this morning from this exact sample, you can see I'm holding a lot more now just because the wind is stronger. turned a bit now it's more coming from my back now so I held a little less it's doing all kinds of funny things <laughs> the honey goes as well it's uh, barracudas are so consistent I love it So far it's looking pretty good and even at this speed I haven't detected any instability issues yet. I think I got that one. Might have been a headshot or something. Well that concludes my testing for the Barracudas at high speed for now. I still need to do them at longer distances but I'm pretty happy with the results today. That is it for this video, thank you very much for watching, if you like this content please click the like button, also remember to subscribe to my channel, it would really help me out, and then I hope to see you next time, cheers. <laughs>